Okay, welcome back YouTube. Um, back here with some more connector, uh, or excuse me, use my new camera here. It's getting late at night, so I'm trying to wrap this up before it's too late. But anyway, um, got my new camera, so maybe my videos look a little more professional. Who knows? Um, but this is series two, um, video four of how to rework your harness for a Mustang, um, for Ford small block, um, using a Mustang harness. Uh, anyway, uh, as I alluded to in the video, the third video was this connector. This is what I'm working with now. This is the 60 pin connector. And I wanted to cover a few things uh, tonight with you about this piece here. First thing is the connector is made up of three pieces. There's the cover, okay? And you can take this off with your fingers. You have clips right here and here on both sides Okay, all right, and you can remove the cover to get to the wiring, to the back. You need to get to the back of the connector to take the wires out. Second thing is this red piece right here. The red insert holds everything together, uh, keeps everything in place. You can remove it by using a small screwdriver and kind of working your, this kind of thing, this kind of action here, so you get a little piece of it. And then you can grab it with a vice grip or a needle nose or something like that, which is what I did in this case, and you just kind of pull it out, okay? There you go, all right? Nothing to it. Get the red piece out, set it aside, okay? And get this side. Now also note where this is oriented. Over here is, I marked pin one, okay? This can't see it very clearly, but I marked it pin one. You need to know where pin one is because then you can get a quick understanding of where all your other wires are. So if this is one down here, so the way. if this is one, then this goes to 10, and this is 20, okay? One, 10, 20, 30, up to 40, 50, okay, to 60, all right? So this would be pin, this is kind of how it goes sequentially. You can pick at them and count them. Not all the, um, ports have wires in them. The connector is not fully wired with 60 individual connectors, but there are connectors in most of them. We're going to show you in the next video how to remove pin or excuse me, yeah, pins from the connector using a small screwdriver. And we're going to eliminate wires uh, 30. If I remember, 31. My notes here: 31, 32, 33, and 38, which belong to the emissions wires that I was pointing at in my previous video. Okay, so that's what our next video is going to do is how to remove those to take them out and then get, um, just kind of clean up your harness. All right, so anyway, um, hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you in the next series or the next episode. See ya.